just a little thought here is the walkway and it is really 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 fancy up here at friendship town hill this place was built a long time ago too and they kept it up to date and then they moder modernized the inside of it um for tourism of course um it is nasty this is a very nice place okay look at this house this is humongous you guys hold on look how big this house is and this is another personal driveway too like this is a big old big old big old big old house hold on I want to get away from this tree. Now I've talked to the guy inside, the tour guide. He's really cool. I don't know if he'll want to be filmed or not. If he does, we're going to have a treat for you guys. A little tiny bit of the story of this place. But I asked him one time if his place was haunted because I kind of felt some weird shit one time. Man, we had like an hour conversation of like the actual details of how this place came about the family and everything else the stuff that normal people on a tour guide don't ask about they just kind of walk around and take pictures but let's go i'm gonna give y'all a little bit of the tour man we out here could you imagine having all of this land you see that field back here that's like you could fit a whole four golf courses up here bro or um I'm telling you and this ain't even this is the front yard this ain't even the backyard my homie this is the front yard just wait till you see the backyard. Oh my goodness me. Here we go. A little bit closer up, you guys. Check that out. It is a beautiful house. The inside super nice too, but there is some, some areas that we can't explore. It's some older steps that they're probably still renovating. So we'll see. We ain't been up here since last September and they probably worked on it a little bit. We'll find out. He ain't put his camera down yet. <laughs> forgot I existed this channel is gonna be so cool man I can't wait till y'all start getting into it just wait man this footage is gonna be so awesome all right I'm getting to the side of the house and the backyard viewing now if you look way back there let me go ahead and zoom in a little tiny bit see that pond that pond is pretty cool man there's a really old turtle over a turtle over there goodness I can't even talk right now <laughs> and I got some apples for him all right so Hopefully he's okay and happy today because I'm going to try to get a little bit up close. Look how massive this house actually is. That door is like 15 feet, bro. Shaq, you wouldn't have to bend over in this crib, bro. You'd have to actually get a ladder to reach the lights in here, man. If you ever come through PA and you want to see some classical history. And by the way, this is a part of black history too. There was a woman that was basically, um, you could say, in a sense, taken care of by the owners of this estate. And she was there so long that she had became a part of the family and was married into a branch of the estate. And now she got paid to stay here over time. And um, it's just a crazy story, but she ended up having a baby by one of the caretaker's sons, or land taker's sons. Um, crazy story. It was just, oh, I hope this guy will talk about it. Like, you'll see. It was actually a pretty cool story. This house is big and beautiful, kind of creepy too. I don't know if there's many ghosts in here, but the day that I felt that one thing, and I'm gonna just say one thing, cause it ain't like I really know what it was. Um, it was in that room where that shutter's moving. <laughs> yeah, that room. I don't know, we'll see. Look at this side yard, Joe, just holy cow. Like, there's so much land up here. You would think that it was a plantation at one point, but really it wasn't nothing mean or nasty. It was always farmland. It's crazy. Here we are coming in the backyard. Sorry for the wind blowing. It's crazy. You know about the storms and everything, but we got luck in the sun here. Look at this. The back of the house is literally, it shows you the size of it. I mean, golly. I really love coming up here. This is one of them pieces of mines where you just get up here and you just forget about all of your issues for a little tiny bit. Okay, these old steps, here you go. Let's pray for, I don't mess nobody's shot up. I don't look, Lee over here, I don't care if I mess this shot up. <laughs> That's mine. Okay, hold on. A little tiny bit, you can see. It's all original floors in there too. Everything is just preserved to be pretty lee just said he's going in um that's okay 
you know how I'm smelling right now. So I'm trying to stay outside for a little a little second until it clears out. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all some more views though. Here's the driveway entry or the garage area you could say where they had the flower bed inside of there. It's not accessible yet. Um, this place is so cool. I'm gonna go inside and show you some footage too, but for right now, I'm gonna just show you the outside because it's a little bit packed in there. And I just wanna let them get ahead of me about three or four steps before I go in there too. I'd rather be alone, that way I could do my own commentary and not hear um, other people talking for the most part. That'd be cool. So check this out. It's not a far walk, but this is the backyard still. Look at this. This lady had her own river trail. And we're going to show you that too. It's a humongous trail. We're not going to walk the whole thing. Stay tuned. Look at that old cellar door. Stormproof, baby. They really did keep up with this place, too. And the fact that they actually was able to keep the original paint collar and just keep touching it up was just like, that's extra. That's cool. And they obviously cloned it. <laughs> but it was always like a mud collar back then, huh? Wonder why. Definitely want to. Um, you know, honestly, the main reason why we come up here is just because of the landscaping. We, we all was the fact that you know, the property had not been subdivided. There had been some parcels sold off, but they did not really impact the his home. Uh, that was part of the uh, Thomas Clare property, and uh, Clare was actually a neighbor of Gallatin's who owned the tract of land immediately north of here, and. Uh, the Clare Cemetery uh, is where he is buried and possibly some of his uh, enslaved folks are buried there too because Clare we know owned at least three people. Would, would have had farming certainly, but Gallup is not a trained farmer, I mean he's, he's a businessman actually. So most of the farming that's going to be done here will be done by tenant farmers. And we know there are tenants living on the property throughout its history, even up until the 20th century there were tenants here on the property who uh, cultivated the land and uh, uh, maintained the estate. Yeah, it's just, that's the thing, because there the places that yeah, weren't... Uh, no, it's not actually, there's, there's very little evidence left of that location to know about where it is, but um, it's really nothing but just a few stones left to mark where it was located. And, uh, and there were additional houses Clare property had additional houses on it uh, and barns because of uh, farming and such here. We also had a sawmill here at one time and also uh, a coal mine. Uh, any questions? I'm thinking about some, I'm just looking at, I'm giving them kind of their. Had a basement uh, or cellar, which is where I could use for food storage. Uh, the stone portion of the house had a small cellar. But restoration of the house was uh, uh, enlarged to create the restroom facilities. So directly below us here is uh, is a space for the heating and cooling plant, but it's uh, almost a call.
boat yard and we'll have some milling operations here. So he is, you know, he is sort of a venture capitalist, but uh, because of his long absences, uh, his properties will be leased um, and his brother-in-law will actually be his sort of business manager in his absence. And Duke leases and then live in the residential area up on the, the hill above the, above the lower camp. So this wasn't their first piece of land in the family? Um, Gallup will purchase this tract of land in 1786. Um, and he's going to purchase this tract and a few other tracts um, down the Ohio River for as investments. You know, he will get a small inheritance from his grandfather's estate. And he'll use that for some of the initial uh, speculation such as this property. So he doesn't have an outstanding mortgage on this property. Um, and then he will purchase the tract of land where the Geneva sits now, um, and that's going to happen around 1792 or three, something like that. Started with money, but he believes that he believes in democracy and the right for for people to express their opinions in government, and uh, he believes that government should be small, should be lean and mean. He doesn't believe in a big army. He ran into a lot of problems with. Uh, uh, military people because he, they claimed they weren't given enough money to run their divisions or run their, their branches. Well, I mean, that's really not surprising to be honest. I mean, according to the time. Well, but correct. The, but the French, I mean, the Marquis de Lafayette and his alliance with France in America is what actually financed the war for independence. I mean, that's you know, that's what how we were able to gain that victory over over Britain. But then things started to just go south in France, and the French Revolution sort of begins, and then it starts to turn violent, and, and people in America, the Federalists, uh, people like George Washington and John Adams. And Hamilton were sort of trying to, were allying themselves back with Britain or so, and, and the anti-Federalist people like Gallatin and Jefferson and such were saying, hey, you know, didn't we just fight a revolution against these people and now we're going to go back to bed with them? And so that was their opinion. Yeah. Took off as Hamilton, of course, being the first Secretary of Treasury, that Hamilton's practices cost the federal government money because uh, the deal that was cut was to, uh, for the federal government to absorb the debts from the states that the states had incurred during the War for Independence. And some of those states had bigger debts than others. Some had paid more. They all had different interest rates, and they were held by different banks or different creditors. Uh, well, the time you're going to keep incurring interest on. This is just amazing staircase. I can't share some of that full story. That's okay. Um, it's one of them places where you really just have to come and see for yourself. It is this little hole in the wall area. It's not something that's even advertised 100%, but it is 100% stunning that everything is where it was 100 years ago. A little poker table and all that. <laughs> Some really big doors, like I said, Shaq, you can fit through here, bro. You ain't even like I'm five. I'm five. I could jump through here. I'm five ten. This explains some of the places and surroundings of the area. I'll give you that. This place is just 100% awesome. Um, unfortunately, the tour guide didn't want to be on film that way. He wouldn't have minded the story, but we all know how that goes. So, I don't know. It's okay, though. Um... Hopefully Lee is in there recording a little bit of a conversation with his camera down. <laughs> but 
I don't think he is. We'll figure it out. Maybe the next time we'll come up here, it'll be it'll be just for his story, and he might be okay with it. Um, it's not something that is like you know government secrets or nothing like that. Of course, it's just you know the content's not for everybody. And when you think of these type of places when you drive in, you think of plantation or slavery or. And it wasn't really like that. This guy was an immigrant himself. So it was, you know, looked down upon that he was able to actually do the things he was doing. He was selling land before it was a thing. Like, it's kind of just how it was, man. He was balling. What can we say? As for, like, the ghost in this place... I don't know about no ghost in this place. I don't think there's no ghost in here. Uh, but everything's nice, man. This is just one of them places where you come to relax, you come to get away. Um, you see all the views. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I really want to... Yeah, I'm about to head out there. I want to go feed the uh, turtles at the pond. But I love this place. This is nice, man. Oh, yeah. By the way, you can see through the floor down here. Secret getaway. Well, you know. Frame house. I know I want to go into the pond before it does start to storm too. I just wanted to get this a little tiny bit of this part here. It is definitely going to storm. So I don't know how much more we're going to be able to film the pond area, but. We'll find out together. I'm just trying to give you a couple of things before this takes off. Cause it's definitely going to storm. This is the oldest part of the house. Let's see if we can make it down here before it storms. Uh, it's going to be close. <laughs> I'll still be able to feed them though at least. Just might not be able to record. We'll find out. What do you think so far? You liking this place? It's worth a visit, I promise you. The landscape is seriously amazing. I mean, there's so much to look at and visit out here, but that storm's coming, bro. Uh-oh. It's getting a little bit too rough right here. We're going to go ahead and get back home. This storm is getting crazy. See you guys soon, man. Tell me what you thought about this place. Next time, hopefully, it'll be a little bit better. But his channel was going to have a video upload tonight also. Look forward to it. It might be a lot better than this one. We out here.